Hey guys, what's up? It's iTalk Apple 96 and today I want to talk to you guys about the iPad 2. So we all know the iPad 2 has a ton of rumors around, speculations about what it's going to be look like, what is going to be in it for specs, how fast it's going to be. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about all that and we're going to clear all that up. So first of all, we're talking talk about the release of the iPad. All you know that last year, um, the first generation of the iPad was released in January 29th, I believe, January 13th, something like that. And now um, everyone speculates that usually Apple's products should be released one year after, exactly one year after the first generation of them. So now we're into February, which is a year and a month after. So we're almost a month after the release of what the iPad was last year and still there's no word on the iPad second generation. This could be due to some of Steve Jobs' health issues, I'm not sure, um, but I'm speculating that there's going to be talk of the iPad 2 very, very, very soon. So now we'll talk about some of the specs. Uh, as you know, it's probably going to be more compact and thin. All Apple products tend to get smaller and thinner, way less in uh, their newer generations, so it's probably going to be smaller and thinner in a way approximately maybe about 20% less than the current generation. No, there probably won't be a 7-inch because the 9-inch is a lot bigger. It's nicer to look at, I find. I like 9 inches bigger. Nine, bigger screen is nicer. And also, developers will have to uh, resize all their apps if they have a 7-inch. Seven, seven and even Steve Jobs said himself they're not going to have a 7-inch. They'll be staying with a 9-inch. Uh, there could be maybe a SD card slot or a mini display. Probably, hopefully, there will be an SD card slot, um, that would be great, but I'm not sure if they'll do that because that will take away from the price of their uh, camera connection kit. There probably won't be a mini display, but hopefully SD card slot. Um, there's rumors that there will be an A5 instead of an A4 dual core processor, so we're talking dual core here, at a clock speed of 1.2 gigahertz, which is very fast. Uh, it could be running on both carriers for one device, so if it's running on AT&T and Verizon, there may be just one iPad, and you'll just have, you'll buy the same one for each, but you'll just have a different SD card, or a different um, SIM card, I mean. Uh, could be dual cameras. Hopefully, I don't think there should be a rear camera, I think there should just be a front. Uh, there might be a flash if they have a rear one, but... I think it's just awkward to hold up and take a picture or video with your iPad. Like I think holding your iPad up in front of your face is just awkward. Like that way, you look pretty stupid. I think most of us are just looking for a front-facing camera so we can do FaceTime. If they do at least put a front-facing camera, I would like to see that be at least maybe 1080p. But I don't know. It might be just 720p. But it'd be nice to have 1080p for when you're FaceTiming. And also, they have a lot, some proof of that because. There's a lot of cases around on the internet, pictures of cases with camera holes in the front and back. Um, and also in those pictures, there's supposed to be a speaker upgrade uh, shown in the pictures because on the bottom right corner, or bottom left corner, sorry, there is a open hole there for a speaker grill, and it shows that on the corner of the iPad 2 and those leaked pictures. Uh, maybe a USB port, I don't know if they'll do that. For, they said it could be for locking into landscape, or docking in landscape, so turn your iPad sideways, lay it down, landscape, and put it in a dock like that. But I don't think they'll be doing that, it just doesn't seem very Apple-like. Um, and as long, probably, as there is a dock connector, the 8-pin uh, connector on the bottom, there probably won't be a USB port, but it'd be nice to have that. And also, their iLife apps, like iMovie Pages, GarageBand, uh, what's the other one? iDVD. They would like to have those on the iPad only in the more form of a Mac, the style of, or on the Mac, instead of having them like the iPhone, uh, like you guys see the iPhone, uh, iMovie app. That, that, that could look like that on the iPad only scaled up, but we're hoping they would look more like the i, I iMovie on the iMovie 11 on the Mac or iPhoto on the Mac, which would look a lot nicer. Uh, very high resolution display is uh, expected, better than all the devices. So 
they're thinking that usually Apple's devices tend to be behind and then they come back and blow all the other devices out of the water because right now the current display on the iPad is 1024 by 768 there's been shown that the iPad 2 could could be up to 2048 by 1536 but more realistically it'll probably be somewhere around 1536 by 800 which is still good upgrading from the first generation of 1024 by 768 to second generation with 1536 by 800 hopefully retina um, but that would still look good and Apple's now focusing more anti-glare so the screens on the iPad will probably now anti-glare uh, I like to see 1 gigs of RAM but I don't know if that will happen 512 is more realistic considering the current iPad has 256 megs which really isn't enough um, so they'll probably have double that 256 and put in 512 for the iPad just to make it a little bit faster. I see the release of the iPad 2 being anywhere from February to March but hopefully by the end of this month, month which is very soon so I suggest you do not buy an iPad right now. Don't buy an iPad right now. Wait and get the second generation even if it's a few more weeks it's still worth it to wait for that and get all the extra features and also it could be rumors that it'd be $100 less so it may be $399 in the US instead of $499. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.